Welcome to the Shaft 3.0 team. Shaft 3.0 Project Office has two years to design, build, and deploy a robust missile that will destroy an entire country. The complexity of this technical effort will require all hands on deck of my best and brightest employees, and you were chosen. Projected contract award is February 24, 2028. It is imperative that we thoroughly understand the system engineering and integration requirements to build this state-of-the-art missile and execute flight tests. Team collaboration is a must in order to ensure we stay ahead of cost, schedule, and performance. Good morning, team. You all have been chosen to be a part of the Shaft 3.0 acquisition team. I am looking forward to working with each of you to assist in awarding this major contract. Please keep in mind that Shaft is the agency's top priority. This $1.4 million effort has a lot of visibility, so we must bring our best to the table. Again, thank you for being on this extraordinary team. At this time, I need a status update of where we are with planning and development of this acquisition. Let's start with engineering requirements identified to design and build this missile. Good morning everyone. The contracting team has worked closely with the acquisition and engineering team to develop a request for information from industry. RFIs provide a high-level synopsis of the type of missile we plan to develop. RFIs also consist of several questions pertaining to program management and technical capability. Several large and small industry companies responded to the RFIs. Market research indicates a solution does exist to create a complex missile such as Shaft 3.0. Because there were so many industry partners interested in this effort, I am confident in saying that a full and open competition opportunity may exist. Wow. That sounds good. Full and open competition is highly promoted within the government. It is good to know that viable capability exists, which drives up competition and lowers cost. Thank you for the status update. Now I need to hear from my engineering lead. Where are we with our engineering requirements? Have requirements been identified to design, develop and produce this missile? Yes, of course. The requirements are solid. I reached back and collaborated with engineering subject matter experts across the agency for system engineering and integration. I spoke with modeling and simulation. I think connected with software and development. Finally, I corresponded with testing for both ground and flight testing. With a lot of hard work, we were able to define all the technical requirements to build a shaft missile. We have also drafted a statement of work to capture what the contractor shall do to fulfill the requirements. Excellent. Without stable engineering requirements, we could not be able to move forward. This is awesome news. Thank you for the update. I understand several acquisition documents have to be drafted and approved by the director before we request proposals from industry. I need a status update on these products from our acquisition lead. I have worked with the entire Shaft 3.0 team to develop the following products required for the request for proposal. The plan of actions and milestones. The team developed the acquisition strategy brief. The market research report is current. The acquisition plan reflects all of our research and path for the way forward. The contract data requirement list form is filled out with the most current requirements. We eliminated all duplication of requirements to help reduce cost. The bidder's library with compliance and reference documents for industry review is up to date. Nice. Good job. Knowing we have a detailed loaded schedule in place. I need to review it to ensure we are capturing major milestones. I would like for my contracting officer to walk me through this schedule. Absolutely. Allow me to share my screen. Please see the rather aggressive schedule. Planning and development will take place from February, 2026, to nearly, August, 2026. Request for proposals will go out to industry in September, 2026, with time to allot for industry days as well. Source selection is planned for May, 2027 and then proceed with award by December, 2027. Good deal. Now that we have a good set of draft requirements, acquisition documents, and a milestone-driven schedule, I am feeling comfortable. 
However, I need to get more details on funding. Do we have a firm cost estimate? I would like our cost estimator and budget financial manager to bring me up to date on funding. Let's start with our estimator. I completed an independent government cost estimate using four different methods. I used comparison analogy and parametric estimates. Then I used the detailed engineering method, which is also called the bottom-up methodology. The bottom-up methodology is the most preferred because it is the most accurate. It also takes the most time to accomplish. I then extrapolated from actual costs. Other methodologies include expert opinion from subject matter experts and catalog pricing. Bottom line up front, Shaft 3.0 is estimated to cost approximately $1.4 million. I will now turn it over to our budget financial manager. Thank you for kicking off the cost and budget discussion. For this acquisition, the following funding is appropriated in the program, planning, budgeting, and execution phase. $820,000 in research, development, test, and evaluation. $320,000 in procurement dollars. $120,000 in operations and maintenance. And finally $140,000 in military personnel. You all have been very busy. I really appreciate your hard work and endless efforts. Now that we have all the acquisition products developed and the director's approval for this acquisition, what are the remaining steps? We are positioned to release our draft request for proposal to industry and then release the final request for proposal. We will post this information at sam.gov. We will publish the draft request for proposal in April. The purpose of a draft request for proposal is to receive some early feedback from industry. This approach can also be helpful in assisting the government with shaping the final request for proposal. We will publish the final request for proposal in September. We have already selected a source selection team to review the incoming proposals. Because of our agile acquisition approach, we hope to award the contract one month ahead of schedule. Everything worked seamlessly and this contract was awarded ahead of schedule.